How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope this finds you well. What the cat hair is going on? That's what our heifer's saying back here. She's got her eyes all bugged out wanting to know what we're going to talk about on the letter today. And I'm about to tell you. Before I do, though, one thing we've always got to do. More cowbell! Now that we got you woke up, let's see what our letter has to say today. It says, Dear Heifer Haven, I'm in my 50s and because of dental problems, I had to have a bunch of teeth pulled. I've been talking to a person online for over a year and sent them photos. None of them am I smiling. I'm embarrassed about my teeth. Now this person is coming to my area and wants to meet me. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. I have fallen for this person, but when they see my mouth, I'm so afraid I'll lose them. Please help. Well, here's my advice. You've You've sent them pictures. They've seen pictures of you. You ain't smiling. I mean, that should be their number one giveaway. If you're talking to somebody, I'm assuming they're around your same age, they already know that you have some kind of dental problems or you be, would be showing your teeth in pictures. If they are that naive, well, hey, you know, <laughs> sorry about their luck. But if you really want to get the point across before you come face to face with them just be honest with them tell them i've had some teeth pulled and if you think that that direct approach might just be too rough or devastating then what i would do is i'd say hey you come into the area we'll go out to eat i'd love to go to a steakhouse i just i love steak i, I think that that would be the best meal we could just share a meal together there and break bread and when you come Bring an extra pair of teeth so we don't have to share yours. Hey, I said it was free advice. I didn't say it'd be good. 